With his belongings in hand and a smile on his face, Jared Hayne is met with a quick embrace after nine months behind bars. He walks out of Cooma Correctional Centre on his 34th birthday. The former NRL star had been in prison since May after he was found guilty of sexually assaulting a woman in a Newcastle home on grand final night in 2018. But yesterday he had his conviction quashed in the Court of Criminal Appeal. Haynes' legal team successfully arguing the judge gave flawed directions to the jury. Jared, will you offer a judge-only trial for the next trial? Are you prepared to face a longer sentence if that's the decision? Back in the community, Jared Hayne is now living under strict bail conditions. He can only stay at his wife's home and has to report to Maryland's police three times a week. He's banned from visiting Newcastle and has surrendered his passport. Hayne cannot communicate with the complainant or witnesses in any way. If he breaches any of these conditions, then he forfeits $20,000. His lawyers wanted the former football star to be acquitted. Instead, the judges have ordered a retrial. In late 2020, the first trial ended in a hung jury. Jared, are you prepared to go into custody? Last year in March, the second jury found him guilty, but that's now been quashed. The third trial would likely take two to three weeks. The judge flagged it could either be heard in October or sometime next year. What's the road ahead, Jared? Hayne will front court on Friday. Cameron Gock. ABC News, Sydney.